Hi everybody, welcome to your weekly dose. My name is Lauren and I'm part of the visitor engagement team here at the Calgary Zoo. Today, I am somewhere brand new. Welcome to Braun Family Foundation Bugtopia here in the heart of Canadian wilds. This incredible new play space helps us get a little bit closer and gain a different perspective on some of the amazing insects and other critters that make their home here in Alberta. And today on our weekly dose, we are going to go and meet some of them. So come on with me, let's go see who we can find. The first thing you'll see when you enter this space is this incredible nurse stump. A nurse stump is part of the heart of the growth of a forest. Old growth or decomposing logs provide the nutrients for new things to grow. Branching off of the nurse stump are three towers each which explores a different role that insects play in the ecosystem. First up, the Pests and Protectors Tower to find some happy but hungry hunting insects. When you come inside this amazing tree trunk, you have to look up, way up, and see if you can find a little brown bat munching on a yummy yucca moth. These are an amazing bat species, and they are so critically important to our Alberta ecosystems. They munch on all kinds of critters, including mosquitoes. So they are a really amazing part of our natural wild Alberta habitats. So we should celebrate the amazingness of a little brown bat. Some insects and critters can be a little bit scary, including wasps. But wasps are actually a pollinator, and they do incredible incredible building and architecture. This model here is of a paper wasp nest, which is full of little amazing pockets where they lay their eggs, hatch their larvae, and have their colony live. Some of the creatures in this space might be hiding in plain sight, like this stick bug that makes up part of the pillar holding up the pest and protector's tower. Each of the species inside Braun Family Foundation Bugtopia is native to Alberta, including this seven-spotted lady beetle. Lady beetles are a predator and they munch on aphids, which can do some damage to plants in our gardens or farms. So when we see ladybugs, we want to say thank you! Tower 2 celebrates pollinators, like on this honeycomb, home of the western bumblebee. We owe pollinators a huge round of applause for all of our favorite foods. Over 70% of the crops that humans eat, like fruit, coffee, chocolate, they are all pollinated by insects. So without them on our planet, a lot of us would be missing some of our favorite snacks. What is it like to see the world through an insect's eyes? These bug eye viewers help us gain the perspective of an insect compound eye. So when you look through, you might see the world a little differently. This sensory board lets us get up close with some beautiful artistry of some of these amazing Alberta insects. I can see a Canadian tiger swallowtail, butterfly, red carpenter ant, that paper wasp, and the northern walking stick. Give it a spin next time you're in. The third tower celebrates decomposers, nature's most efficient recyclers. Decomposers work extra hard to break down all of the dead and decaying material inside an ecosystem and recycle it for new growth. So animals like snails or fungi like this morel mushroom are a critical part of a healthy and balanced ecosystem. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's edition of the Weekly Dose and exploring Braun Family Foundation Bugtopia with me. Next up, my colleague Cassia is going to take a little bit of a deeper dive into some of the play structures that are in this space and what they were intended for. But first... Woo! Thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.